Hey y'all, hey, 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 I see y'all. Give me a second, I am adding my title. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Be patient with me. I'm adding the title. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to pin my thing. Let's see. It's not letting me do it. We're going to get this together. Okay. what I'm not going to spend too much time trying to figure out the title and, and pin it and all that. Um, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone that has tuned in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I was trying to pin the title. I do look to have a tan. Yes, my chocolateness got more chocolate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so good morning, everyone. Oh my God. So I am like super excited to share this message with you guys. Um, before I do that, I will introduce myself. My name is Lucina Inspires. I am an award-winning author. I am an international inspirational speaker. I am a healing and recovery accountability expert and coach. And I am the founder and creator of Healing is a Journey, a quarterly series of conferences designed to help those who have gone through abuse and trauma start to learn how to live their best healed life. Chocolate beauty, yes! Thank you, Becky. Yes. Love you. Thank you for tuning in this morning. I know it's early, um, but I wanted to hop on here and I will be consistently hopping on here at 8.30 a.m., 8.33 a.m. every morning for your morning espresso shot of inspiration on Instagram. And at 6.33 p.m., I will be hopping on my Facebook business page for your evening espresso shot of inspiration because I feel like you need a double dose of inspiration. Sometimes you need to be encouraged in the morning and in the evening. If you're like me, throughout the day as well. And so I wanted to share my experience on my cruise, on my travel. Um, man, glory to God. I'm super excited. Like everyone, I just got back yesterday afternoon. Um, so I didn't really like check in with anyone because I was just like, let me just relax because traveling is amazing and it's fun. But then you get back and you got to get back on top of your grind and your business. And so I wanted, I had to check messages, return phone calls, all that. Not complaining. But let me tell you how God works, man. So I am literally living my dreams. Um, I am seeing the manifestation of everything that I've ever written down in my journal come true. Those who know me know that I love to travel. Those who know me really well know that I've always dreamed of traveling the world and inspiring people. I didn't know what that looked like at the time, but I knew that it was something I wanted to do. And well, let me tell you, God has shown up and shown out. So um, this is my second trip this year. And I'm working on a third trip, y'all, because I just love to travel. And I feel like God has created the whole world as a platform, my playground. So why not go and do it, right? And so this opportunity was presented to me. Uh, my dear friend, Widow, a business partner, um, it was actually her event that she put together. It was a survivorship cruise for those who have survived domestic violence to celebrate um, surviving and now thriving. And so I was honored to be able to be a speaker um, in her apartment session. But let me tell you how God works so, so much. In spite of everything that tried to keep me from going, God has showed up and showed out where I was totally, I was just enjoying myself i am very um detail oriented detail oriented i'm very ocd to the point where like, i plan my day out to the and this 
trip was definitely um it was and but the experience i had um if you look at what i wrote in my comment experiencing living my dreams determined disconnected and doing me right um Let's talk about this. I was, I didn't, have, I didn't even buy the internet package. I was just disconnected from the world, but connected to God, I connected to my experience. And when I mean disconnected from the world, like I didn't, I wasn't checking my social media page. I wasn't really doing any work. I didn't bring any, my laptop nor my tablet to work on intentionally. Though I was going to be, I was a speaker. I brought worksheets. I brought God with me, obviously. And I allowed God to inspire me with the words that he needed me to say. And I was determined to, to get the best out of this experience because I want more of these experiences, right? And so, first of all, I did. I wore a bikini like all during the whole trip. Like I was on a cruise, and I just I didn't see a point of putting on regular clothes. And it had you have asked me years ago when I walk around in public with a bikini, I would have been hesitant, or I would have worn shirts and a shirt, shorts and a shirt to cover up myself because I um, had a lot of body shaming issues that I were I was dealing with. But I did not care. I said, this is a trip where I'm going to enjoy me and love the body I, I'm in because I only have one body and one me. And so I did that. I wore my bikini the whole time, walked around the pool, laid on the pool, laid in the sun, did absolutely everything I wanted to do. I spent time with my son. We played basketball, golf, chess, volleyball, and he beat me at all of them. But that's okay. Um, I we laid out and watched a movie. Um, I enjoyed fine dining with lovely women dressed up for the fine dining, even danced. I did everything I absolutely wanted to do and have no regrets about it. And this experience taught me that sometimes we get in our own way of living the life that we dreamed of, right? Because maybe we sh we have shared our dreams with somebody and they tell us like, you can't live like that or that's crazy or how are you going to make that happen? Or, you know, or maybe even good intentional people be like, well, you should probably wait or, you know, right now on your budget, is that possible? But let me tell you. I went on the trip with a budget of God. For those who might have know, might know, might not know, if you've been tuning in to my Facebook lives, um, I got let, let go or laid off of my job in September. So I'm officially a full-time entrepreneur. Not the way I would have planned it, but God's plans are not our plans. And so I have truly been walking the path of radical faith, walking the path of trusting God. You know, um, at the time when I realized, I was like, um, should I cancel this cruise? Like, should I, you know, because, it, but I didn't hear God tell me to do that. And so I didn't. I said, I got my tickets last minute, um, because I needed to find something that was reasonable and, um, but it all worked out. It, I was determined to be obedient to God. I was determined to see this thing through. And I do not regret it. So much so that my, my son, as we're like getting on the plane, is like, we need to go on a trip every month. I need to get my passport, mom, so I can see the world. This is what, this is my 15-year-old saying this. And it just blesses me knowing that he wants to pursue traveling. Now, my dreams aren't his dreams, but my dreams are, are for the generational wealth, to break generational curses. What does that look like? Well, family is a sense of wealth. Your experience is a sense of, sense of wealth, right? Your health is a sense of wealth. And so for me, generational wealth is not just like building that dynasty, that financial legacy, that financial dynasty, but it's also building those experiences where... He not only is traveling outside his neighborhood, outside his city, but outside his continent and seeing other other countries and experiencing other things. And so I'm just so happy and I wanted to share this because I know that a lot of times we hear about dreams and we think about like, what does dreams look like, right? How does that feel? Well, well how can I pursue my dreams? Well, your dreams are whatever you make them, whatever you feel is possible. And for me, traveling, being able to um, dance like no one's watching, because I have two left feet, and so I don't really know how to dance. But I didn't care. I was like, I'm going to dance with these two left feet, and I'm going to enjoy myself. Um, 
living like it's no tomorrow where I'm not concerned about when I get home, bills or business or whatever, I'm enjoying, I'm living in the moment. I'm not focusing on what I don't have, but I'm enjoying what I do have, right? So from Friday through the time that we arrived back Monday, I literally spent time doing what I wanted to do. I had frozen margaritas early in the morning. I had, you know, shots. I had conversations. I laughed. I was silly. I laid out in the sun. I walked around my bikini. I got in the pool. I got in the jacuzzi. I met great people, connected. I danced. I did everything I wanted to do. I ate really well. Um, I'm going to have to make up for it because I ate a lot, a lot, and a lot of food. Um, but I don't regret anything. I didn't wake up the next day or I didn't come back home wishing I would have done more because I'm like, I did everything I wanted to do. And if I do, and those things that I couldn't, those things that I didn't have time to do, that just means I'm taking another trip and go back and get to them. I'm already looking at how I can take a trip directly to the Bahamas and enjoy actually that time there. Um, so I'm excited. And let me tell y'all a little secret. I've always had a fear of big bodies of water. I remember getting on a, a small boat docked out in the harbor in Chicago, Montrose Harbor, one of my friends. And I had a whole full panic attack. I was freaked out. Now, that was maybe two, three years ago. Fast forward now. And I'm getting on a whole cruise ship and just walking up on the top deck and looking at the water and all those amazing things. And that's because I have stepped out of my comfort zone. I told myself that I want to live my dream life. I want to be able to live the way that God would want me to live. And I'm doing it. I'm, I'm pushing past fears and past barriers and traveling without um my my travel partner because my my best friend's always been a person I travel with and I was always apprehensive to travel without her because like she you know would book the flight and we would go places she would plan stuff and I'm doing it on my own booking things take care of things and for me that is amazing right and I just I love the experience that I had and I'm ready to create more experiences like that I'm ready to do more and I encourage whosoever's on this live, whether you tune in later, whether you come back, that your dreams can manifest in real time. And your dreams can be your reality. You just have to push past, you know, your own doubts. Push past how you think it should look or how it should show up. Because it's not always going to be presented the way you think it will be. But you'll know it when it comes. And you need to live in that. You need to be determined determined to see your dreams through you need to be disconnected from the naysayers and the negativity that will stop you from seeing your dreams come true and you need to just do you i was doing me the whole time i enjoyed myself i got an awesome tan that added to my awesome chocolateness um and i'm just so excited and happy and so that leads me to my segue right um my next conference is December 28th, and it's called the very title, the very subject is Dreams and Goals. Eventbrite is up now with the early bird registration. You definitely want to be there because I will have some magnificent, amazing speakers who will talk about how they're actually living their dream life in real time as well. Um, I feel like now is the time for us to live our dreams, wherever they may look to you, whether maybe it's not traveling the world, maybe it's, it's eating, maybe it's taste testing, maybe it's building a business, maybe it's having your family all in one continent, whatever your dreams are, I'm a living witness testimony, they can come true. They can come true, but you have to invest in you. You have to invest in them. You have to believe that they're possible. Get back to when you were a child and you daydreamed. You know, when we were kids, we daydreamed and we wondered about stuff and we, we thought about what it would look like. Get back to doing that. Get back to, to daydreaming about things. I still do that. I write in my journal, eating tacos. Yes. You know, I love some tacos. Ooh. Yes, eating tacos, whatever it might be. I, you know, I want to eat tacos on an island. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, whatever it is, you. I feel like it's the there are there's an endless amount of possibilities that you can do. They're waiting for you to say yes. And so often we say no to things and not even realize it because we count ourselves out because we feel like I'm too. I'm not ready for this. It's not it's not my time or I can't do this or I don't know, whatever reason we feel like we cannot 
I'm here to encourage you that you can do whatever you put your mind to it. You can do all of it. I'm a living witness. I'm a living testimony. And I encourage you that if you need help, if you want resources, if you want to connect with people who are also living their dreams and goals in real time, definitely, you definitely want to be a part of the conference December 28th, um, private location. If you're in the Chicagoland area, if you're not and you're um, not able to come, I will be having digital passes available, um, not only for the upcoming conference, but I'm, I'm having digital passes made where you can purchase the conference that you missed September 28th. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you share, share, share this, this video out. Make sure you connect with me on Facebook, my business page, which is also Lestine Inspires. At 6.33 p.m., I will be giving you three tips, three tips, three tips on talking about how healing directly connects with living your dreams. I love you all, and I want you guys to have a great day. Blessing, signing out. Remember to be bold, be healed, be free, be unashamed, and be a rebel inspired. Love you. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how to pin this. Oh, thank you, Becky Boo. Love you. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to pin the title. I'm having some technical technical glitches. That's okay. It happens. Oh, here we go. Boom. Yes, I did it. Woohoo. Okay.